As seen live on the score, the defending Vanier Cup champs, the Queen's Gales, were in Guelph to take on the Griffins, and here's something the Gales didn't have to deal with last year, a quarterback controversy. Justin Chapdelaine picked off by Mark Duragon for the second time in the game. 13-5 Guelph at half, they're looking for more in the third. Nick Fitzgibbon had 199 yards rushing on 22 carries, but he didn't have a touchdown. Jed Gardner did, thanks to this nice four-yard grab. Well done, Jed. 20-8 Guelph, it's time for a quarterback change for the Gales, meanwhile. Chapdelaine out, in comes Billy McPhee, the freshman who is headed to Waterloo to play for the Warriors, but we all know what happened there. So instead, he transfers to Queens, and it looks like a pretty good move. Chris Ioannidis, 23-yard touchdown. It's just a one-score game heading to the fourth. Could McPhee bring the Gales all the way back? Not straight back. Here comes pressure. McPhee looking deep for Shane. Got a step. And it goes off his fingertips, incomplete. Yes, the Gales come that close to glory, but Devin Shahan can't make the spectacular catch a couple plays later. This baby's over. McPhee is sacked. That's the seventh Queens turnover in the game. What a performance by that Guelph defense as Stu Lang has his first signature win in charge of the Griffins, who improved to 3-0 on the season.